afternoon guys it's Wednesday it's lunchtime this is Amanda I am out in the storm feeding the animals we have a lot of animals here right now looking for food and we're trying to help them as best we can we put out food here and we put out food at the top of the hill also for them so they can choose where they want to go and the race is on and that's the geese who always blows the lunch bell and the breakfast bell always sounds the alarm so this is what's going on here on our, our property our sanctuary Noah's Ark Animal Relief Fund Fishkill chapter please like us on Facebook and um, up oh, there they go I will try to keep you updated as best I can on what is happening throughout the storm we got extra supplies to help sustain the animals coming and the rescues. Um, if you want to go to our Facebook page and like us, there are instructions how you can help. Uh, if there's any way anyone can help, we would uh, so deeply appreciate it. We're trying to uh, care for God's creation here. And as you can see, it's a big job. So what I'll explain what this uh, cracked corn does. Cracked corn raises the body temperature in ducks and geese. It actually helps keep them warm. In the winter months, especially, feeding them cracked corn keeps them warm. Um, it gives them energy and it helps sustain them through a storm like this. Uh, sometimes we mix some bird seed in it too so they get some seeds as well. And so this is what they are eating right now. We try to um, purchase extra cracked corn yesterday to make sure we had enough uh, for whatever was coming. I'm praying that the storm weakens. And here's lunch right now. And now we're going to go up to the rescue pen as everybody is coming to eat. We're going to march up to the rescue pen and see what's going on up here. Nobody's outside. They're all in their little house. We've also put food down for the sparrows. There's red-winged blackbirds coming, there's ravens, there's crows. We have um, a couple of stray cats that come. Um, they do have places to go here to keep warm. So we have that too. And so now I'm going to get the stuff I need. There's my little wagon for the rescue pen. Okay. So, what do I need here? I don't need this. My extra glove is in here. I need corn. I need seed. Um, and water. Uh, that's what I need. Okay. Let's go, guys. I have this wood up because it keeps the snow from coming in. And it helps against predators at night. Hi, guys. I'm coming on in. Hello! Well, look who it is. It's Jake and Daisy and Jingles in the rescue pen. Oh, I'll take my hat off here. Hi, Jingles. What's up? What's up, girl? There we go. Now we got some light back. What's up, girl? Say hi to everyone. Can you say hello? She's like, where's my corn? Just hand over the corn and nobody gets hurt. Okay, girl. We'll get your corn for you. These guys, yep, have been inside. It's actually fairly warm in here. It's above 32 degrees because the water isn't freezing. So thank God that's a good sign. Here, guys, you want your treat? Jake, my handsome man. Oh, you're so handsome. There's your corn. And so what I'll do is I'll change their water. Daisy has laid another egg. We're up to four eggs. So she's probably going to sit on them soon. Like I said, she's been hiring Jingles out here to sit on the eggs. And uh, what's the thanks Jingles get for it? Daisy pecks her butt. Some thank you, Daisy. Oh, you ate all your crumble. I'll bring you more crumble later. They seem to like crumble too. Okay. So we clean their water. 
We make sure their water is nice and clean. That's my uh, hay barrel that I put the dirty hay in, and then it gets. Uh, we find a place to put it. So uh, this hay breaks down, which is nice. So uh, after we clean the water, that's their seed. They throw it everywhere, the ducks. We give them fresh, warm water, kind of like hot tea for them. They like it a lot. Okay. Oh, you're so happy, Daisy. So happy. Daisy, so happy. Everyone got corn as a snack. Jake loves his corn. Oh, does he love it. Right, Daisy? Did your boyfriend love corn? Yes, he does. Okay. So... We're going to put some more seed in here. We have a big um, container here of seed because there's three of them. So we make sure there's enough. Hi, guys. Look at Daisy. She's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so not going out there. <laughs> Jake's thinking about it. You know, Muscovy ducks are from Central and South America. So they don't like this kind of cold weather too much. They are hardy and they have enough feathers to keep warm, but they don't like it. They definitely like warmer weather. Um, I think Daisy was fooled by those couple of 50 and 60 degree days and she started laying eggs, right? And then winter said, not so fast. Right, Jingles? Not so fast. <laughs> what are you doing, Jake? So, like I said, everyone's keeping warm in here. We're making sure they have hay and food and warm water and snacks. So, they'll be okay during the storm. They have a nice big area in here to walk around. It's 10 feet by 10 feet. So, it's very roomy for them. Oh, help yourself, Jingles. Just help yourself to the bowl, why don't you? So... This is what's going on. Oh, Daisy's sampling the water. Is it good? It's like hot tea, isn't it? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Now, ducks need to eat with water. So that's why you kind of see seed thrown everywhere because they have to eat with water um, in order to like uh, swallow and digest properly. Now, in the spring, when the spring truly comes, all of this will go outside. The water, the food, it'll all go outside. But right now, at night, it'll freeze. Uh, so we just keep it in here for now, and I'll just, um, when winter's over, I'll just make sure to replenish the hay, clean all the hay up, and put the food outside. Daisy, stop being bossy! Now you stop being bossy. Ha ha, Jingles fooled her. Daisy, if you peck her butt, if you dare peck her butt, what are you doing? I know your plot. You were going to peck her butt. Oh, we have some ravens and crows gathering right now, actually, for food. There we go. That's right, Jake. Make sure she doesn't peck jingles. Daisy, that's her signature move. She's the butt pecker. And so we have to watch her because she's a sneak. You are such a sneak. It's not even funny. She just waddles around here like she owns the place. Right, Jake? My handsome man. Is you my handsome man? There goes Jingles. Ah, oh, what are you doing, Jake? You wagging your tail? You happy? Is you happy? You happy you inside where it's warm? Let me move out of their way here. So, yeah. And uh, the snow's coming down now. The uh, ducks are eating down there. And these guys are nice and toasty in here. And uh, we've got these little partitions up there like tents for them. They like to go behind them and sleep. So we have two up. And uh, they make nests back there. Do all sorts of fun things. Good boy, Jake. Oh, you found a piece of hay you like. And Daisy's eating some corn, huh? Ha, huh, Daisy. Hi, Jingles. You want some corn? Here. There's some right here. There you go, girl. What a good girl. 
One, what do you want? What do you want? She's looking at me with one eye. What do you want? <laughs> so, this is what's going on in the rescue pen. Um, twice a day, uh, Jake, Daisy, and Jingles like to march around in a parade, the pen. They all get in a line and they march in a circle. And they have themselves a little parade in here, don't you? Oh, yes, you do, Daisy. Look at all that seed you threw. You and Jake are messy eaters. Oh, yeah, sure, you got to waddle through. Oh, you want the corn, huh? And there's my big handsome man, Jake. The big man on campus. The big man on campus, Jake. So I hope everyone's staying warm out there. We're staying warm here in the uh, on our property and in the rescue pen. Up here are some ducks now that they've decided to avoid the crowds and go to the other feeding station, which is on top of the hill. And I bet you that's where they're headed. Here they are. Yep. They're headed to the other feeding station to avoid the crowds. <laughs> Here, we'll watch them. They're going to come up. Watch. Okay. So where are they? We're going to see them marching soon. There they are. Oh, yes. They're going to start marching soon up to the other feeding area. Smart ducks, huh? Can you say bye to everybody, Jingles? They stay warm, everyone. See you soon. Two Muscovies and a chick. That's right, people. That's what's going on here. Two Muscovies and a chick. Talk to you soon, guys. Stay warm. God bless.